That's what it does, breaks and boom, 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 and pounds all the way down. I'm happy to announce, guys, we're back in Colorado doing what I do best. And that is scouring the hillsides, looking for indicators, chasing float up the mountains, and finding load deposits. I came across a very obscure reference to an extremely rich gold deposit. I'm gonna prospect out that area and do my absolute best to see if I can't find where that vein might have been. It's very well maybe easier said than done. We got some massive boulders, huge cliff and rock outcroppings to search. A lot of fracture zones on this here bedding plane. Goes boom, boom, boom. Possibly some sort of vein or fault there, there. We're gonna have to creep up there and see what we can find. This Dallas field is telling us a lot. Right here we got a huge block of banded gneiss. Uh, we have some sort of other metamorphized, metamorphic rock. This is a type of gneiss as well. But it's got way less mica in it. Right down here, look at that. Kind of quartzite and granite. So we got a couple different things going on. And we do have a little bit of iron mineralization right there. Hey, look at that. There's some kind of nail. That might be telling me that some miners at some point scurried up here. I don't know why else that would be here. We can see the banding in this chunk of gneiss. Got some transition mica schist going on. This stuff here looks like it might be transitioning over into a pegmatite. Pegmatites are oftentimes indicators of larger crystals and potentially bigger growths of gold as well. All right, right here, look at that. Here we have a solid quartz band within this kind of quartzite-ish rock, because this is mostly quartz as well. Curious, this here piece came from somewhere up this way. Ooh, look at this, some kind of animal. Look at this fresh, fresh dookie scat. I have no idea what made that. A marmot. Right here we got some mineralized quartz. Look at that, this is a lot of quartz. Hey, this is kind of interesting right here. Look at that, we got a little vuggy iron pocket right there. Check that out, all the way up there, halfway up that cliff, there's a post. That could possibly be an old claim post from the old timers, but that's yet another indicator that the old timers poked around up here. These big blocks tend to move further down the mountain. Hey, we got a quartz, we got a mica pocket right here. Here's the big blocks float on top of the finer scree. The smaller rock, it acts as like a lubricating medium and these big boulders can slide down and they accumulate down here. We got some giant, giant talus boulders. I'm gonna roll a big one down there. Here we go. I don't know, I like playing around like this. Oh, there it goes, oh my gosh. Man, that's wild. When the mountain behind me erodes, it comes falling down the cliff. It comes flying down the slope. That's what it does. Breaks and boom, 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 and pounds all the way down. If there's any gold in that rock, and that rock breaks, those larger fragments of solid gold can break out of the rock, and they can deposit on the hillside, creating a colluvial in situ placer deposit. A flat area down here at the bottom of the slope you can see snow and rainwater comes down the hill. Funnels down through here, washing all the lighter material down this way. And you can see all the sediment spreads out here in a fan shape. And this is what we refer to as an alluvial fan. You could potentially sample this material to see what kind of minerals are in this hillside above it. Well, looky here, looky here. I think we found something behind us. Look up here, this white, this white ground behind me, it definitely looks different than the surrounding dirt, so let's go take a look at it. All right, woo! That's something right here. Look at that, right there. First rock I pick up, that's a vein. That's a vein roughly one inch wide. That there's something for sure. We have hematite iron growing in here. This is, this is definitely a good indicator. We have some mineralized banding in this rock here. Um, getting some more solid quartz here. Here we go. Right here is another chunk of some sort of vein. You see that? You see that dark band right there? That's the kind of stuff we're looking for. I might have to take a couple samples of this. If this is here on this hillside, look, we got some iron mineralization right there. Right here. 
right here this is a nice big block it must be coming out from somewhere on this hillside I can see we have granite wall rock over here and then we have some kind of weird some some kind of weird breakated potentially hydrothermal action going on here so between here possibly here could be where it's mineralized let's go take a look goes on up let's see on this side some larger black mica schist granite not seen a whole, whole bunch of oh there's a little bit of nice there is nice here as well what do we got going on up here we got a whole bunch of breakated rocks clasts angular clasts that are still in place. They probably decomposed and broke up from frost heaving right there and or above. Ooh, something's definitely going on over here. Then we have quartzite and whatever the heck that more white material is up there. We do have pegmatite starting to grow as well. Look at that. Some bigger crystal growths. And we have another slot going up that way. If any of this breaks loose, that big old boulder can come take me out. More pegmatite granite. Look at that. Larger smokies. Pretty wild. Something's going on here. You guys see we have solid granite. That's a solid plane of granite. And then this white looser muck, which could be an intrusive vein of some sorts. It's an altered granite. See that? This is a granite that cooled more slowly so larger crystal size could develop. All of this is pretty stuff solid wall rock and we have this softer material you see that here right along the edge this is definitely some sort of vein this is super wild and the type of stuff we're looking for this doesn't look particularly iron rich mineralized however there could be portions where that veinal material is growing because we did find those chunks of vein down below and see how all that rock is all angular, broken, breakated, yet still in place? That's telling me we could have possibly had pressure coming this way, pressure coming this way, and it squished the heck out of all that. Possibly leaving gold and silver values behind. Coming up on the spot here, I am starting to see more iron mineralization. Look at that, we got the pegmatite, uh, some bigger crisps, iron blob right there. We got a coating of iron. This rock's all super breakated. Look at this. It's just like exploded weathering in place here. And it gets more solid right above it. There's like a cap. What the heck? Definitely got an iron band coming through here. And if you look right there, that's a pocket. That's a big solid pocket of smoky quartz. We might even have some crystals in this. See that? All that, all this here. It's a pocket of smoky quartz. Rock going this way, rock going this way, and a weaker crack that's eroding down. These giant blocks are just barely hanging on. I don't want to knock one of these loose and get crushed out here. Ugh. Quartz. You got veins, bedding planes running this way, and it shifts to here, and then like this. What the heck? Typically right down in here, if we had a less um, resistant vein, it would be here and it could erode down more easily. Looking at it closer, we definitely do have a rock variation. It's different in here. There is some sort of vein. Not necessarily a mineral vein, but something's going on. And the rock is softer here in the middle. Pretty wild. Here's a plane, here's a plane. Something different was here in the middle. Man, I gotta be careful back here. Look at this. It's like a death trap. This area certainly holds future promise for prospecting. We got some floaters down here we can sample. I saw something a little bit earlier in the distance. I think we gotta go investigate that. Here we go. Look at that. This is some kind of a uh, brachiated, re cemented iron conglomerate. Directly above it, we have this here wall. Goes from light colored to mineral stained. We have a contact between granite and gneiss. Got, got some bigger crystal growths, some pegmatic indicators. Ooh, there is something here. So rock fall out of there.
maybe some from here, but it kind of looks like there's some kind of crack going in that way. Let's take a closer look. We definitely got mineralized granite right here. See that? What do you know? We got a quartz vein. Where is it going? I don't know. It's running here. There's some here. Down this way. And up here. Yes. Yes, this is what we're looking for. Check this out right here on the wall rock. Uh, super limonite right here. Look at this. It's like, it's like ochre. This limonite's so rotten, it could have gold coming out of it. We got some limonite. We got a limonite vein right here. Small one going up that way. Granite, granite quartz. There is a vein right there. I gotta see if I can crawl up here. Wild, oh shoot while staying intact. This is, this is some kind of hairy stuff. Yeah, yeah, this is a vein, guys. Look at this, we got we got some plants growing right out of this material. This looks interesting. That right there looks very good. Oh man, we're definitely gonna have to sample this. We're gonna take a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Up here, that's where the iron conglomerate's coming from. You see that little pocket? That's a piece of what we found down there below. It's not a very wide vein, but we definitely got something going on here. And we have a quartz coating all along this face. You see how it's sheeting up there? This is super wild, guys. Freaking awesome. I'm gonna bust out the pickaxe and chisel and get ourselves a sample. Absolutely beautiful looking material, guys. This looks right. There very well could be gold in this. Here's a close up. When I'm out in the field, I always carry these in my pack. I'll leave a link in the description for these. We got a handguard chisel, small, I believe it's a two and a half pound sledge, perfect size. And then, and then my always trusty, I love this thing, small pick, Tyvek sample bag of choice. I'll loosen up some of this, it's already loose. I'm gonna feed that into the bag. Get a nice representative sample. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Look how, see how that's falling apart? Nice and iron stained. Oh man, down in that pocket. That is the stuff right there, guys, right there. Check that out. Beautiful. That looks phenomenal. I'm gonna work some more of that out right here. All right, we got a small little sample from this pocket. I'm gonna try to chisel out some of that iron stained ore right there. Oh man, look at that. We got a big quartz vein right there. I chiseled out a piece just now. We got some black manganese or galena showing in it. Take a look at that freshly broken face right there. That's some kind of metal for sure. This is definitely what we like to see. Look at all that clay and iron mineralization. Down here, that's running up there. This is beautiful stuff. All the way up. Look at that, scary as heck. All that could come down on my head at any moment. We definitely have a vein. The question is how rich it is or if there's anything in it. If it runs here, we'll split here, split that way. Goes up here, goes up here, all the way up. It's pretty darn cool. I don't know if I would have seen this. But this huge slab of rock from this area would not have fallen down here, mass wasted and uncovered this particular vein pocket. It's so cool. This was an absolutely awesome discovery. I'm yet to yet to find out if there's any gold in it. But these big boulders here fell off of the cliff face, revealing a vein that has possibly never been seen before by the eyes of man. <laughs> in this case, I'm the man. Let's see what's in this stuff. Water runs down there and it erodes out the softer material. And this softer material is a vein. Don't know if it's a gold vein, but look, we got different rock, different rock. In the middle, we have an intrusion right there. This is a parallel vein to what I just found. You know, we got some quartz. Here's a little iron mineralization, limonite. Got a little bit of green showing, look at that. Got a little bit of green staining in here as well. That could possibly be indicative of copper. Look at that up here, this is getting more interesting. Whoa, 
Look at all this banding. Check that out. Boom, 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 all the way up. Down here, that runs into this perpendicular. Then right here, we have mineralization as well. Look at that. There could be gold in that stuff right there. A lot of sample bags for today. So we're gonna run that last sample, see what we get. Possibly come back and check this too. Woo I almost just went down. I think I stumbled across something interesting here, guys. There's a lot of weird veinage going on. Look at this, we got some limonite in here, some kind of manganese coating, pretty heavy. That's thick, that's like a centimeter thick coating of what looks like manganese. And going up this way, look at that, right there, hidden behind this block. There's yet another, look at that. You got some kind of vein cutting up there. This stuff right here looks like the stuff that carries gold in this area. Gokery limonite right there, look at that. Man, we got our work cut out for us. Whew. Right here, you know when I talk about more, less resistant rock eroding more quickly? Look at this, we have almost identical rock right here that's bedded or tilted up in this direction, going up, and right down here in the middle, about fist size, look at that, my fist fits in it. About a foot and a half deep, this whole trough channel is carved out by water because there's a little bit of a vein here in the bottom and for whatever reason, this stuff is breaking up and eroding more easily than this rock and this rock. Pretty darn cool, I wish you could see this hands on like a textbook, it's so darn neat. I think some of this green coating mineralization and this white rock could possibly be chlorite. Right here guys, look at this, super amazing. The bedding plane of the rock. I just noticed some dog tooth looking like quartz. We got a quartz vein right here. We got a pegmatite forming, opening up smoky quartz. Giant books of mica. Look at this, runs all the way up. Man, this is so cool. It's not every day you find a pegmatite pocket. Smokies, look at this, how cool. We got large crisps, large mica books, smokies. Oh, look at that smoky right there. And what is this? Where is it? Oh my gosh, right there. We got a shoral, shoral tourmaline, guys. Freaking amazing. Let's see if we can't get this crusher started again. She's alive. My four by six jaw crusher, the bigger rocks go up here in the jaw, goes forward and back, gets crushed down a quarter inch minus. That material falls down here into the rollers. We have one roller on the front, one roller in the back. Finer material goes down in the middle. It's totally pancaked and crushed and pulverized. Comes down the bottom and then we're in a pan. Absolutely beautiful spring day. Look at this cloudy, it's cold, it's snowing, and we're panning down by the river. I thought about grabbing my gloves, but I forgot them. Boy, I think my hands are gonna freeze. Absolutely beautiful down here. Starting to get down to the bottom. You gotta be real careful at this point. Hard rock gold is super angular, coarse, flat, and weird. It likes to float around in the gold pan. Take it a tiny bit further. You can see here we got rid of most of the blonde sands. We have some black some magnetite, some manganese, some other heavy minerals. Now we're gonna add a little bit of water to the pan, swirl it back and see if we got any color. <laughs> Thankfully the sun came out for us right in time. Let's see some gold. Yeah, I'm gonna tap everything over to this edge here. Nice little pile, get it solidified. And now I'm gonna slowly swirl the water over the top of that pile. If we have any gold in this pan, it should be down here at the bottom. Starting to see some sparklies. 
definitely some dark brown material. Oh, come on, show me some gold. Ooh, I got a micro, micro spec. Ooh, we got some big iron clumps. Here's a piece of iron, that's a big chunk of iron. Down here in the bottom, the heaviest portion, you can see that rusty brown red. We got some kind of red heavy mineral in there. Bigger chunk of what looks like native iron. That's pretty wild right there. And we do, okay. And we got three micro specks of gold up here. One's not that micro. And we got another one right here. So we actually do have gold in that vein. You guys want to see a bigger haul? And we dig out, crush up, smelt, and pour a new bar. Check out this video right here.